Welcome to our track talks uh, at the European Track Racing Championship here in Le Mans. I'm Gianrico Griffini, commercial vehicle journalist and um, chairman of the International Track of the Year. Today we will talk, talk more about sustainability dilemma and how transport and logistic company in Europe face. Uh, it's an issue that uh, this company faces uh, day by day. One key areas of the industry that can play a significant role in reducing CO2 emission are tires. And uh, today we have the pleasure to have uh, with us uh, Davide Califano, Head of Brand and, Market, Brand and Product and Marketing Commercial Europe for Goodyear. Thanks for joining us. So we, 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 we can start with the first question and talking about the challenges transport and logistics company face and the, and the OEM phase two. What about that? These days, sustainability is really a hot topic for the industry. Uh, I think we can also say probably it's really the topic, meaning that uh, all the discussion these days are around sustainability, how fleet and OEMs can face it. Uh, and this is due mainly to two main reasons. The first one is all of us as humans, of course, we are concerned about the environment. We know that uh, well, we cannot wait any longer. We need to take action. On the other side, also, there is a strong legislative push. Uh, meaning that uh, the Euro European wants to become the first carbon neutral um, country, uh, sorry, continent by 2050. And this is, of course, pushing uh, the European Commission to take measure. You know, and uh, with the Green Deal, basically, uh, we will we'll need to reduce uh, the um, greenhouse emission by 55% by 2030. So this is, uh, of course, uh, uh, a, let's say very challenging, uh, a very challenging uh, objective. And, uh, um, you know, everybody needs a bit to play their role uh, into this, uh, into, to get to this achievement. And we see also that, of course, the transport industry needs, uh, needs, needs to play a role in there. And uh, um, if you think that uh, um, why we're look they're looking at the transport industry, transport industry represents 6% of the total uh, European carbon emission. So it's, it's not a small part, it's still a big part of it. And uh, specifically, um, the um, truck, uh, bus, bus and coaches represent um, almost, uh, <coughs> sorry, represent almost a quarter of all the road transport uh, emission. So that's, that's, really, that's really a lot. Um, having said that, uh, of course, the European Commission also puts some burdens on the OEMs. So also there they have, uh, so this translated in, uh, I would say, some important challenges for them and some important objectives. So they will need to reduce by 15% the emission of the new trucks from 2025 onwards. And then they will need to reduce it by 30% by 2030 onwards. And if you consider that they're already starting from a very high level in a way, because today, I mean, track that, uh, new trucks that are introduced to the market today are already very efficient. So getting there, it's a really a hard journey. So it's, uh, it's very difficult for them. And they need to look at all the different elements that, uh, that play a role there. And tires represent also, it's one of these elements. Consider that tires can influence uh, uh, 30, up to 30% of the fuel consumption. So we definitely see tires playing, uh, playing a role. And these are, I would say, this is really the challenge for the OEMs. The fleets on the other side, uh, they, I mean, they're facing many different pressure. On one side, you have competition. Our industry is very fierce. You know, they have very, very fierce competition. So margins, pressure on margins, um, pressure on operation, which are complicated, plus all the driver uh, lacks and all these things. It's, it's not really making it in their life easier. And on the other side, they also have this sustainability issue that they need to address. So they also need to make their, their operation greener, more sustainable. And this is not only for the legislative push, but also because customers are demanding that. So we also see it from ourselves as a tire supplier uh, and uh, as a mobility solution supplier that uh, customers ask us to help them to become more sustainable and how they can show the sustainability to their customers. So this is really, uh, and I would say, a very important point for them. And this is, I think, what we call uh, the sustainability dilemma. That basically means uh, uh, how a fleet can, on one side, become greener, become more sustainable, but, you know, having solution that he can use in, a, in his daily activity. So a smooth transition. A smooth transition, and the, the thing is that uh, things need to be simple and not complicated, because operation of the fleets are already very complicated. Um, they're already under pressure, so they need to find, say, easy way to become uh, more sustainable. Earlier this year, you invited transport and logistics company across Europe to take part in a survey uh, 
to understand uh, how effective this uh, transition can be, almost uh, a thousand fleet uh, took part in the survey in more than 30 European countries. What were the main outcome of your sustainability study? Yeah, thank you. I think, uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk about this, uh, this survey. I think it was an important step for us. And, you know, we call it the uh, sustainable reality survey because it, it's not just... Uh, bringing up data about sustainability, but we really wanted to understand from a reality standpoint what fleets are doing, what they can do, uh, what is preventing them to do more. So we really wanted to, to have, let's say, uh, a realistic approach. So that, that's really the effort that we did. So we interviewed, as you said, we interviewed more than 1,000 fleets, um, and also together with Three Nations, we planted a tree for each of uh, the respondents, so just to give also our small, to thank the fleets and also to give our small contribution. Um, and, you know, it's clear that uh, the sustainability is high on the industry agenda. Consider that 75% uh, of the fleets are concerned about the sustainability. So this is, this is important. And if you look at the, uh, what we call the mega fleets, so fleets with more than 500 vehicles, this percentage goes up to 90%. So it means that uh, uh, there is really uh, a high consciousness about the matter. Um, what also it's, uh, um, it is really interesting and important that especially when you talk about these, uh, um, these big fleet, these mega fleets, uh, is not just uh, a declaration, but you see that 70% of these fleets have sustainability as one of the key corporate values, so it's really in the company corporate value. But even more important, 71% of these fleets um, have uh, um, systems and measures uh, to uh, measure the sustainability of the fleet. So, so, basically, so they have a sustainability report at the end of the year? Or have, like yes. Yes they, have, uh, yes, they have a sustainability report, but they have objectives. So every year they set the objectives yeah. for, for the fleet that they want to achieve in terms of, uh, yeah. like can be, you know, waste reduction, like CO2 yeah. emission reduction. So they have some objectives in place and they have measures. So they also have a plan how to get there. So this is important because it, it really sees, seems that uh, um, the fleets are already very active to, to that extent. Um, also, if you, uh, another, I think, important uh, um, data that we got from the survey is that for 10% of the fleet, which is not huge, but we see it is an increasing trend, the sustainability is a key uh, asset to win new customer. So there is this demand, so we all want to have goods and you know their customers want to have goods transported on time uh, with, the, with the right quality with the right services but also in a more sustainable way and as i was saying before this is something also that we see from from our standpoint that we see that there is this demand and we really think that this is something that uh, uh, is gonna um, is gonna increase uh, and uh, uh, also i think that one probably uh, last two things that i'd like to mention uh, we asked them uh, we really wanted to understand okay what could uh, um, push you to use even more sustainable solution? Uh, and, okay, no surprise here, I think the number one was uh, uh, financial incentives, of course. Sure. <laughs> of course <right>. Give <laughs> us money. So that's, <laughs> that's uh, how it is. But, uh, um, but I think this is important because we see that uh, uh, in some countries there are already some uh, incentive schemes, like uh, in Germany they have the de minimis. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, we really think that, you know, this, this can also be a game changer uh, also to, uh, to speed up the process of adapting a new sustainable solution. And uh, uh, the last, I would say, important thing for me that is really showing a bit the, the perception that we have is that we ask them also uh, which are uh, the um, factors that prevent you to adopt even more a sustainable solution. And 60% of the fleets said that uh, um, most of the times these solutions are too expensive. And we, we, talk, we, we were talking before about the um, um, we're talking before about uh, uh, the, the pressure on the margin, and 45% say that the solutions are too complicated. So, you know, again, we see this, again, I think that this sustainability dilemma is, uh, is really there, meaning that there is a willing to do more, uh, there is a willing to become more sustainable, but, but then, hmm. but... But the daily operations are much more, uh, are, are very complex. Uh, they, there, is, there are a lot of different pressure and tension. And uh, so we need to somehow bring some uh, uh, solutions which are easy for, for, the, for the fleets to adapt. And I think, uh, yeah, as an industry, we need to look at, uh, at that. Let's come back to, to, to the last issue, cost and complexity. You know, <laughs> it seems 
to be those two uh, topics are the main uh, blockers, the main uh, obstacle. How Goodyear is responding to this sustainability dilemma and which role tyre can, can play in reducing CO2 emissions? Yeah, so as I said before, the tyres can really play a, play a key role, so are one of the elements which have the, uh, the biggest influence on the tyre consumption of a vehicle. So as I said, up to 30% is linked to tyres, so definitely we can play a role. Um, the reality so far is that uh, there are fuel efficient tyres on the market uh, which are helping fleets to, uh, to save fuel and these, these are very good. Uh, the reality is that these tyres most of the times are very um, well equipped, uh, are very well designed to work on highways where there are you know, not many um, uh, tough conditions. So basically uh, they, can face with, they can face with the highways, with straight, uh, with straights, without not too many curves, without uh, gradients. Not so. winding road. Or exactly, okay. exactly, exactly. So this is the reality today. But you, again, we see that fleets need to have something simple. Of course, they, you cannot think about... And the reality also is, to, is that today we see that fleets do not always do the same route. So one day they're driving on the highway, sure. the, set, the, the, the day after they might go on secondary roads, on state roads, going somewhere, the different countries and so on. So this is also... Um, the, the current fuel efficient tires are not really equipped to face that ma many different conditions. So we introduced this uh, new product, which is called FuelMax Endurance, which is an evolution of uh, our FuelMax range. And the, the key benefit of these tires is that this is a fuel efficient tires, so all the tires are B rated in terms of fuel efficiency, which is a very good um, a very good rating, but what is really making different from all the other fuel efficient tires is that these tires have been designed to cope with uh, uh, many different conditions. So they are designed to uh, work very well with, uh, on the highways, but also on state roads. So they have the right traction to work uh, with gradients and uh, the, the right robustness, robustness to work with curves, curbstone, and uh, all the different challenges that you have on secondary roads. So it's a flexible, uh, let me say. Yeah. Yes, we say, you know, as a marketing person, we say more sustainable. More we, more sustainability, more roots. We have a claim for that, okay. right? So that's, <laughs> that's how we, that's we call right. it. I have just uh, an additional question. Uh, you say that uh, today uh, truck tires are becoming more and more, uh, let me say, uh, specific uh, for, for highway, off highway, on highway. And how do you help uh, fleet operators to choose, let me say, the right uh, tire? Not to make a mistake that could be costly for them. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think that's uh, that's a very in interesting question because the uh, what we are trying to do is first of all to uh, become a bit more, a bit less uh, specific, meaning in terms of application. So we really want to uh, widen the range of application, and this is a clear demand from the market. You know, and as we were saying before, it's very difficult to predict on which uh, route the the track will be one day after the other. So that's, we, with the, for instance, with the FuelMax Endurance, that's what we, are, what we are going to do. Now, it is true that the, uh, the overall, the offer of tires is sometimes becoming more complex. Of course, we, trying to address different needs uh, brings to a complexity of the offer. And that's why the um, support of the sales force and uh, of the service network is really key. So uh, in, uh, in Europe, uh, good year we have uh, our, our our sales force in all the european countries uh, which are really partners are more business consultant than salesmen for our uh, for our customers and together with them they can uh, fleets can find the right solution for them not only in terms of tires but also in terms of uh, solutions like uh, all the solutions that Goodyear is providing, like the TPMS, the drive over reader, fleet online solution. So we have a complete pack of solutions under the Goodyear Total Mobility umbrella. And also very important is the service network. So we have a service network uh, which is called Trackforce, uh, which again is very um, is spread all over Europe. So there is always, uh, let's say, a, a Goodyear service provider close to uh, any of our customers uh, being ready for supporting them. And what about the, let me say, the added value services? Uh, the, are there fleets that ask you to, to take care of the entire lifespan of the, of the, of the trials? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, uh, I think it's quite a natural um, development is that uh, 
basically we, we are trying to integrate as much as we can tires and solutions. So talking about the uh, tire life uh, and the lifespan, of course, there is, we, we give as a service to our um, to our fleets uh, Goodyear retreading, uh, where basically we bring tires to second life. But also we have uh, a, a really wide range of uh, of other solution of mobility solution that uh, we give to the customers. And you know the fleets are more and more trying to reduce and they want to reduce the complexity, as we said. And this is also uh, goes uh, with uh, reducing uh, the, the number of providers. And just to give you uh, another quick example is that Goodyear um, just defined a collaboration with ZF. Uh, so basically the system of the Goodyear TPMS, so the trailer sensors, are integrated with the ZF Transix. So it means that uh, basically with the same hardware the fleets can, can get both the benefit of the Goodyear TPMS and the ZF Transix. So that's exactly that, that journey that we're trying to do really to reduce and to make the life of the fleets much more simple than it is today. And do you see that this trend uh will become more and more important in the future? I think definitely yes. Definitely yes. I think today, uh, you know, this is, this is I think, what many industries went through. You know, in, in the beginning, there are many different players, not integrated solution. But then in the end, uh, the need is to have something which is simple, so you don't want to deal with too many different parties. So you want to have integrated solution, and you don't want to have too complex operation uh, for, for your fleet. So definitely that's something that uh, we see is, gonna, is going to grow in the next years. Thank you. And thank, thank you, you for much. joining us. Thank you.